Keep with the box. Who's in the box? Uh, what's in the box? Welcome to Bob's Basement Toy Blog. Today, we will be talking about the tub or box, I should say box, that I found under the stairs. So that way is our stairs. There were multiple boxes stacked and when we moved in and some of the stuff I have been looking for for quite some time. But because it's under the stairs, dust is falling over all these. So I wish I could have shown you what this looked like beforehand, but I was like, oh, knock it off. So before we really get into one of these tubs today, and it says Christmas miscellaneous, uh, satin balls, church, and snack plates. Uh, it's not that. So no need to fear. Um, we've got two special uh, days coming up. Um, we do have Alien Day. Now that's going to be next week. I believe it's Monday or Tuesday. Uh, it's the 26th. So it actually may be a Sunday, but we're going to celebrate Alien Day probably the day after. Because I think a week from today would be the 27th. So we're going to celebrate Alien Day on uh, Monday with a special unboxing of a, something I know that has Alien in it. And it's that way. But on the 28th, which would be, I believe, Tuesday of next week, we're going to celebrate Masters of the Universe Day. That's an actual day. It's a real day. It was started in the state of California. Um, we are going to find out what's inside Castle Grayskull here. That's going to be its own little episode, so it's probably going to be a lot shorter. And then this drawer right here is loaded with Masters of the Universe toys. And I've actually started to go through my wife she's a fabulous uh, artist she has all kinds of acrylic paint laying here down in the basement so i've been gathering it up getting it ready for her so that she can have it and start doing her artwork um but i've gone through and i've noticed well that color and that color mixed together i think i can fix he-man's boots or i can fix he-man's hair so i've been slowly uh working on a thunder punch he-man that i've been uh, fixing, but I'm at the point where I actually have to mail out and try to get uh, certain co colors of paint, like silver, shiny silver, and a couple other things, so that I can actually restore everything. But it's, you know, I'm not going to get rid of the He-Man figures. I like them. They're old. They're very old school original. There are some modern ones in here, and we've done a couple on the show already. So I've talked way too long. Let's get to this tub today. Happy Monday. Let's get to it. So, right off the bat. Right on top, we have got a Target exclusive Revenge of the Sh uh, Sith Shadow Trooper. This is the Utapal Shadow Trooper. Didn't really see them in the film. Uh, they would get a Black Series figure. Shadow Troopers would later become this thing where they would really start hyping up. It's basically a Storm Trooper or a Clone Trooper in black armor. And the Death Troopers eventually would emerge from Rogue One. Um, this was a Target exclusive. It actually came in this hard bubble it hung on the peg like this i think it was a little bit more than most but it's very articulated um so it's almost today you would consider this part of the vintage collection line the tape here is actually starting to go but it's actually taped into this bubble and i don't think it's ever come out so you can see that Ugh, dust but another bubble uh, plastic figure it even got the republic symbols up here very nice uh moving right along here Ugh. Look at this. Ugh. And see, the thing is, like, usually if I was doing this and I wasn't recording it or anything, I'd have a table set up, I'd have cleaning solutions laid out uh, or Clorox wipes. But I was at Wegmans this morning and there was nothing. And we've got, like, we're starting to run out. So I'm, I can't use them for this. I, can't, I haven't been using them at all during this. You would have seen me wipe this off and then set it down to dry. Um, yeah, so it's very frustrating because I would like to clean them and get the dust off of them. Uh, but he's protected in there very well. This is a very weird figure. This is from Electronics Boutique. I got it for $7.99. Um, I worked at a mall. There was Electronics Boutique. Uh, a buddy of mine was a manager there, so I used to go and say hi to him all the time. He would, you know, hey, you want this one? Hey, we just got this one. This is a uh, Power of the Force from 2000, and this was basically it's Obi-Wan in... Uh, like the Hoth gear. Like, imagine instead of Han Solo, it's Obi-Wan Kenobi, young Obi-Wan, with a jacket, and he's got like a hat and a backpack and everything. They were really trying to expand the universe of figures and make them different. Um, very cool figures. This goes with the, the Qui-Gon Jinn, the, the Qui-Gon training figure. You can't see him, but he's all the way back there behind the Death Star. The odd figure. There's also a... Um, there's a Darth Maul Sith Apprentice outfit in this wave, too. So these are the figures. And what I've been seeing on our Instagram, which is just Instagram, 
um, dot com backslash Total Toy Recon. People really go crazy for these oddball figures. So neither they never saw them, they opened them, or um, they've just gotten into collecting and they're going back and they're seeing this wave. I'm pretty much showing a lot of figures from 95 to like 2002 that most people didn't even know existed. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see fan reaction to those figures now from so long ago. Um, if I look at the back of this one, I honestly think I have every figure on the back of this package. And there's one, two, three, four, there's 16 figures. I'm pretty sure that they've almost all gone through my hands in the last couple of days doing this. So we've got some more card. This one, this is a, this is a particular favorite of mine. This is from 97. Uh, again, ugh. I seriously wash my hands as soon as I'm done doing all this. It's just crazy. Um, so this is the Power of the Force um, with the 35 millimeter slide of Darth Vader revealed. So uh, at the end of the Return of the Jedi, Luke pulls off the mask. You see Sebastian Shaw, the actor who played uh, the first man to play Anakin Skywalker without the helmet on. Um, the the helmet of the toy itself comes off. His hand even comes off. So it really gives you this great. Uh, you know, world of Star Wars, if you really wanted to create that moment. Um, very, very nice figure. Um, one of my personal favorites, and I don't think I have it any other way. I think I only have this one. So, wouldn't take it out of the package. Or get rid of it. We're going to roll right through the Star Wars stuff here. So, ooh! So, now the other day, uh, we had a prune face from Return of the Jedi. I get him, but he's a little out of reach. Um, so, I thought that was my only really perfect condition uh, Return of the Jedi uh, figure uh, from the original Kenner line and it's not. Um, not anymore. Uh, this is an original Jedi Knight Luke uh, from Return of the Jedi. Uh, the, the card is punched. It's a 77 back. That means there's 77 figures across the back. Um, and he has his proof of purchase. And I've talked about my grandmother used to use an X-Acto and I cut the proof of purchases off give me a figure for Christmas, my birthday, or just for visiting, and then uh, mail away and get whatever the mail away figure was. So, yeah, never getting rid of this either. This is, uh, yeah, this is this is awesome. Uh, I have a Princess Leia in Endor somewhere that I gave my wife for an anniversary gift once. So um, I know she's still here, and I think there's a Bib Fortuna. So it'd be neat once I start gathering these up, um, how pristine and uh, how old school I can go back um, but this is neat and I will definitely hold on to that um, interesting um, wow here's uh, here's Ray from Oct from Octo or as they call it the resistance outfit Ray forgot I had her so that's a more modern figure from the force awakens nice figure i see a figure like this you might as well open because this is pretty much the outfit she wore in all of rise of skywalker uh i'm sorry last of the jedi and you know you might as well open it these figures aren't going to be worth that much because everybody bought them kept them in storage so it's one of those odd things you might as well just open it Ooh, now this is a great one this figure right here this is a death star droid from a new hope he walks by han and chewie and luke when they're in the death star trying to get to the uh, detention cell block you had to get this uh, figure special through Star Wars Insider Magazine. So you had to order it directly from the magazine. And there was, um, I think there was a Death Star Trooper. And there was one of Jabba's guys, Poti Sninkin, I think is his name. You had to get all of them through Star Wars Insider. So I definitely ordered him and uh, would never get rid of them. I just love the fact that they, they made him, that he was all black and he comes with a mouse droid awesome figure would never open it um it's probably as much as i would need it to put it in here inside the dust door um all right so we're taking a break from star wars for the moment and this is the walgreens daredevil now this was um let's see this was from 2015 yep 2015 this is the Walgreens exclusive Daredevil. So when I say Walgreens exclusive, if you don't know what that means, that means you can only buy this figure at Walgreens or on Walgreens.com when it initially comes out. It's kind of a touchy subject with collectors because there are figures that we want. You go to, you might go to five, six Walgreens, never see them. Now Walgreens is starting 
to um, have a better online retail of said figures. So um, there was an Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, that they had a special exclusive of, same size, six inch size, and like the Black Series, which have all been packed up because I actually packed them all up. Um, there was a six inch Obi-Wan and they put them up for sale and I got them within two days. It was amazing. Two days he showed up. I I went to like five Walgreens right afterwards and he was at every single Walgreens. It's such a rarity to actually have that happen. A little bit harder to find now that we're so far out. Um, I actually wanted another one and then when I actually decided I should get another one, I haven't been able to find him. But the yellow Daredevil was really tough to, to discover. Um, I got this as a gift uh, from Jared Cruz. He sent this to me as a thank you for the work that I was doing uh, on Action Figure Junkies when it first started. Because uh, I said I couldn't find it anywhere, and then boom, it showed up in the mail. So somehow he acquired it. Um, awesome figure. Absolutely love it. Um, and he comes with a, the alternate head. And this is Daredevil. And I say the yellow Daredevil because this is what Daredevil originally looked like uh, when Stan Lee and Steve Ditko had him in Marvel Comics. So this, this was the original look of Daredevil. There's a great book you can read called Daredevil Yellow, which really gets into uh, that time in Daredevil's life from a more modern perspective. So this is the, uh, you know, I think this may be the first first one. This is our Star Wars Elite Series uh, figure. Uh, now, these are interesting because basically the Disney stores released these. These are die-cast, heavy-duty metal figures. They're a I think they're like six and a half inches, if maybe not seven. Um, they're Disney's answer to Hasbro's The Black Series. The human faces on these characters, not so great. Because Disney uh, Hasbro's using a photoreal technology now, and they've had people at it, and it, they're able to sculpt the plastic better. When it's metal, it doesn't quite work. However, if you get troopers, droids... Characters that wear helmets, like Boba Fett. Um, I really hope they make a Zori Bliss like this. Um, it really, really pops. The Death Troopers are perfect for the Black Series because they're supposed to be slightly taller than a regular Stormtrooper. Um, this is the Flamethrower Trooper from The Force Awakens. This bad boy was $24.95 when it came out. That's a lot for a figure. Um, the nice thing about these is that if you really just want a droid, you want uh, you want to hold out a little bit longer. You're like, ah, they're cool, but I'd rather have a trooper than like Finn or Ray. They don't look that great in the face. Um, you can get these usually at discount after the next wave comes out at a Disney store. Um, that's probably where I got him. I don't even remember. I did get, I do have somewhere, probably not in here, I do have a Force Awakens Kylo Ren. And he's awesome. He just looks fantastic. Um, because I couldn't get a Black Series of him the day it came out. And that was the force, the very first F Force Friday for the new movies. And I ended up picking him up. So, heavy, heavy figure. He's got to weigh at least a pound and a half. Um, but I actually like it better than the Black Series one. Um, okay. So this is... I got this for my wife uh, when the movie came out. This is a do-it-yourself Stormtrooper helmet. And the nice thing is, it's an original Stormtrooper, Stormtrooper helmet. It's not from The Force Awakens. The helmet's slightly different. Um, I got her this as a gift. She likes to create things, do craziness. It has markers. It's just vinyl, so you can paint on it. Um, little arts and crafts project for us. Um, there's stickers and stuff on it, too. They do these for a lot of things. Turtles, um, different characters. Um, but if you really just want to go out and create your own Stormtrooper helmet, this is, this is the thing you want to use, so keep that up for her to make sure that she knows where that is. And we have an original Stormtrooper helmet, as you can see right here. Okay, so this is these are in their bag. Nope, that's from Barnes & Noble, so that's definitely not the receipt that this came in. So, um, as I said, we had gone out on Force Friday. We couldn't get everybody that we really wanted. Um, from the figures because Toys R Us was really, really sold out. Um, so my wife and I ended up going to Kohl's and they had just put out a whole bunch of Star Wars figures and we ended up getting Captain Phasma that way. So we got her as a pop and we got her as something else. That was the only thing we really got a Phasma on that Friday. So neat figure, fantastic artwork here on the side. But again, um, you know, the articulation isn't the best on this figure. Then again, she just kind of stands around. You don't see her do too much until the second film. Um, this is... 
This is a pilot uh, X-Wing uh, Atsy. So this figure I actually have as a Black Series. I believe I did show it, but I love this figure. His name is actually based on a Beastie Boy song, which is really, really cool. Um, so this is a great figure to have. Glad we have him. Um, again, when you get to a figure like this, this was the second wave of figures. So they, these were everywhere. These like rotted on the shelf eventually. But the second waves were harder to find. Um, people were ordering them by the case at this point. So they sat on the shelves at Target. This guy never... Th these guys sat on the shelves at Target, Toys R Us, Walmart... These guys never appeared because everybody was stockpiled with 10 of the same figure. So these guys became harder to find. I'd have to look him up before I'd actually open this figure up. Wow, Three Force Awakens figures. Did not expect that today. And there's still more Force Awakens figures. Ah, again, uh, another oddball figure. Um, and this is PZ4CO. This is a, uh, a droid that you see briefly in The Force Awakens. Just a really cool concept and design. Really wanted this figure just to flush out my background, give some craziness to it. And it's, I haven't really mentioned it, but each one of these figures, each one of these figures comes with a build a figure like weapon. So you need to get all of these different figures, but you gotta buy them in waves and then you get these weird little accessories so that you can build a big gun at the end. Why Hasbro did this, I do not know. These things don't appear in the film. Um, but I would have much rather had some sort of droid. Um, the build of droids were very popular. And then it'd say, you buy three figures, you get a, you put it together a droid. Uh, the amount of plastic that they're giving you, you, they may as well have done that. It's these They, they try to do these things. And it, it's silly to me because it's the other things seem to have worked better. And they also seem to do, uh, collectors would rather have a droid. They're like, you have a droid in a collection. They're like, oh, I've never seen that guy. I was like, he was the build a figure droid. You're like, oh, I never built that guy. Such a better concept. Wow, we're really rolling through the Force Awakens stuff here. This is actually kind of shocking. Uh, quite possibly the worst figure in the entire uh, Force Awakens uh, line is um, Poe Dameron. You can't pull his helmet off. Um, this was a, the only 375 figure left on the shelf was Poe Dameron. Uh, so I got him. I, I really wanted him. I did not want Constable Zuvio at the time. Um, they did re-release him as a 375 Black Series figure, but he was a Walmart only. Um, again, here he's got the crazy uh, pieces to build the ship. And I would like to say that there's not one figure that I have here that actually any... These are all different build-a-figure doodad things. Like, take build-a-droid, whatever the hell it is. Each one is different. I got a bunch of receipts in here. A Toys R Us purple bag. And then... So I must have gotten a Black Series. Oh, no, I did, they handed these out. So I did go to the Disney store that day. Uh, for the, the Force Awakens, and then they handed out these little booklets so you knew who you were getting. Um, you know, who was coming next. Like Darth Vader, Boba Fett, Stormtroopers, those are the guys you want to get. You really don't want to get these other oddball, weird guys. As I said, the human face is not so great. Okay, so... The things that I have. That's going in the trash. Ah! And this is why you put them in plastic containers. Now I have figures all over the floor. Yeah. We'll get to them. All right, I'm going to shout out to my friend Matt Booker in England who's watching. Thank you, Matt. Uh, Matt, you're going to really like the next, well, second couple last items here we have here in the case. Uh, first up, this is, and uh, friends of mine told me they love when I throw my brother under the bus. Um, this is actually uh, my brother's uh, original Empire Strikes Back uh, Han Solo gun. So um, I don't know if it still works. It took two C batteries. The problem with the gun is, and here it comes, um, I won't say this was my brother's fault. This was a design flaw in the gun. But because it took such heavy batteries, 
you had to have a special cap. Now the cap mirrored this side over here. It looked the same, but it had these two little uh, twist knobs that would twist the battery pack so it would sit over that. And then it would go, and you could shoot it. Great gun. The Empire Strikes Back sticker is classic. Um, as far as I know, it still works. However, without that, um, without this here on the side, um, really don't, um, you know, I've, I've always held out that I could find two replacement parts for the battery pack and the little knobs. Um, they have long since gone, I'm sure, probably lost in the backyard somewhere. But, um, you know, it means something to me, and I would never get rid of it because it is pretty much, you know, you, you could... We, it was funny because we would always hold it like this when we would use it for Halloween costumes. Um, and since then, Hasbro has re-released this gun in this style. Um, it's usually orange or it's white. Um, nothing that flat black paint uh, can't handle with a little shiny silver kind of scattered across it. I have one upstairs. Um, actually, just took pictures with it yesterday. <laughs> so, um, so, um... Saving the last thing in the thing for the very end. But uh, here is the, uh, I don't know why this is in here, but this is the 2015 Roadshow to the Hateful Eight. They handed these out for the 70 millimeter, uh, the 70 millimeter show. My wife and I are big film fans. So this was a rare thing. You didn't get too many of these. They don't do this anymore where you get these like books. So definitely want to keep that. And second to last item here in the back, in the pack. Uh, a friend of ours gave us uh, Star Wars cupcake uh, decorating kits for our very first anniversary, which was paper. So this was very funny. And uh, we still got a few in here. I know we used a couple already, but uh, next time we make cupcakes, definitely going to have those. And last item in the tub is this is this is the tank uh as seen from uh star wars episode one this is the this is the droid troop transport please forgive me i cannot quite remember the name at the moment but this is one of hasbro's bigger and best uh toy releases that they've ever done it's i didn't take the batteries out which i cannot believe i didn't do that um i do have the other pieces they are in here um this was very difficult to store so you attach these here, like so. I'm not going to put them back on. I do have both. The guns move. Now, let me show you what this thing can do here. Now, it does have some great um, features where you can put droids here on the side. We have a gun rack right here. Um, this picks up to make a tower, like a command, a command tower. We do have additional troop. Uh, weapons here. The guns are all loaded. This is where you can set your figures up. It does roll. This is this is a massive toy. Um, and if memory serves me correct, this should work. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Let me open this up. I've got some droids, some guns in here. Um, it came with two droids and an Obi-Wan from Episode 1. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. This front is supposed to come out. I remember if I have it locked in place. Interesting. Well, it's supposed to open, but it's not. Maybe I got it locked or something. I have the instructions somewhere. Batteries may not be. Yeah. It's supposed to automatically come out. This holds out. This holds up and then this the droids actually roll out of the front here, but I don't know why it's not working. I'm probably... The batteries just could not be strong enough. Which is weird.
I'm gonna have to figure it out why, but I think it might be the batteries, and I don't even remember where I put them. Oh, wait a minute. It's been on the whole time, so that's probably not good. So I'm gonna pull the batteries out, and I'll give you an update if it works. But for whatever reason, I mean, it even has like a little fake stairway here, the guns on it. This is a great uh, uh, toy for the uh, episode one. And something that they should have made probably when the line first came out. They did do some really big vehicles and things. But I just wish, why, 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 why is it not coming out? But, oh, the droids are all falling down and it's really moved around. But you did get a full, I hate doing that. It's a full assortment of droids and then they would pop out. So I'm going to definitely have to work on that today and find out what's wrong with it. Yeek. And last item, sorry, I thought, there was one more, I thought that was it. Uh, A-Wing from the Action Fleet. And we did talk about that. We had a big box of them the other day. Definitely have to put that back in. This is the little like micro machine style, the action fleet that Galoob made. So those are fun. So um, that's pretty much about it. Um, not a very long episode today, um, but we did find this bad boy and we've been looking for him forever. So I got to figure out why it doesn't work, but I will post pictures of these figures on our Instagram so you can see them close up. Um, please tune in every day at noon, Monday through Friday. We're going to keep, keep going here. Um, uh, I still got about three boxes that way, and I haven't even touched. There's at least four, if not five, here behind me that we haven't even gotten to yet. And uh, still can't find Snake Plissken, and I'm still looking for, um, uh, there's a there's a pop from Flash Gordon. I have no idea where it is. So, uh, again, my name is Bob. Thank you for tuning in to Total Toy Recon. Right now on our site, we've got uh, 10 G.I. Joes we will never see, probably. And we also just did a review of the Star Wars Vintage Collection uh, Troop Transport, Imperial Troop Transport from The Mandalorian. That's on our YouTube page. It's on our Instagram. Um, it's a fun set. Uh, you want to look at it. It's a, it's not quite as big as the, the tank thing I just showed you, but that Troop Transport, but it's pretty big. So thank you for tuning in. You have a safe day. If you have to go out, please wear a mask. Stay safe. And uh, just take as much as you need when you go to the store. Thank you.